My name is Sayyid Arif Ajad. I'm the DG, Department of Fisheries, Bangladesh. We have been here with some unique lessons that we have learned as a country in South Asia uh, with the management of a particular fishery that includes both carrots, you know, and sticks. As you see, in many fisheries, there have been compensations uh, in terms of money or in terms of uh, other services. But at the same time, the surveillance and support goes together is a very unique in the world, and especially in Asia. So we have here, we have been here uh, with our friends and colleagues from IIED, Dr. Assam, to tell the story to other regions and other nations, what we are doing in Bangladesh, how it can be improved and sustained and can be disseminated to the other parts of the country, including South Asia. Uh, very good question. Uh, currently, we are supporting our fishers with a vulnerable group feeding program, as well as some programs of alternative income generation for the, for the persons. As you know, the fishers in Bangladesh are at the bottom of the basket. Their, very, their position is as the lower uh, in the economy in Bangladesh. They are down to the part of the society in Bangladesh. So if you just refrain them not to fish, this is not enough. You have to have some measures so they don't be without food. Their family should not be without food. So this is how we are thinking about the vulnerable group feeding program. But it should be sustained and continued. And with a, just a simple revenue budget and development budget per year, it might not be sustained and continued. So we're exploring the possibilities how the program can be sustained, you know, uh, and well organized for years together. Uh, this might be a thinking, and we have learned some ideas from uh, Institute of uh, Economic Environment and Development that there could be a solution of introducing a funding system. What they are proposing as a trust fund. We have already proposed to the government to detail up, explore the possibilities of generating su such a funding system for the communities of fisheries in Bangladesh. We are at the preliminary stage though, but we are trying to cope up with the situation and trying to explore the possibilities. So in the coming days, yes, we are trying to explore the alternative possibilities without giving a continuous vulnerable group feeding and a surveillance, you know, there should be a sustained solution and we are looking forward for that.